Jupiter is in the news again. Reason is the great red spot. And it's not the James Webb Space Telescope that's helping us understand the gas giant in our solar system. It is all courtesy of this tech marvel that is the Hubble Space Telescope. So what did we discover about the giant red spot on Jupiter? Well, a lot of terrifying things. Let's find out in today's video. Before we begin, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell for the latest notifications and updates. With that said, let's dive right into today's content. The red spot is a persistent high-pressure region in the atmosphere of Jupiter, producing an anticyclonic storm that is the largest in the solar system. Located 22 degrees south of Jupiter's equator, it produces wind speeds up to 432 kilometers per hour. Jupiter and its giant red spot have been viewed and studied for centuries now. Observations from 1665 to 1713 are believed to be of the same storm. If this is correct, it has existed for at least 357 years. If you think of it, it's just insane. Imagine a storm on our very own planet raging for centuries. The red spot storm has recorded a wind speed as high as nearly 650 kilometers per hour and it has been going on at such speeds for a few years. Considering that Jupiter is a failed star, one can just imagine what kind of forces must be at work in that massive gaseous planet. If only it were bigger, it would have started all the reactions to create a new sun and in the process, of course, fry the Earth and all the planets and stuff near it. But that did not happen. So what is the great red spot on Jupiter composed of? Well, it's pretty terrifying and you can only imagine how inhospitable the planet is. Jupiter's giant red spot is an upwelling of material from Jupiter's interior, similar to lava. If seen from the side, the storm would have a tiered wedding cake structure with high clouds at the center cascading down to its outer layers, NASA explained. The great red spot is an anticyclonic or high-pressure storm on Jupiter. An ancient storm, it is so large that three Earths could fit inside, according to NASA. The giant red spot stretches 16,000 kilometers across. That's one big storm. It is therefore no wonder that Jupiter's giant red spot is the king of solar system storms. Jupiter's great red spot rotates counterclockwise with a period of about 4.5 Earth days or 11 Jovian days in 2008. Measuring 16,350 kilometers in width as of 3 April 2017, Jupiter's great red spot is 1.3 times the diameter of Earth. The cloud tops of this storm are about 8 kilometers above the surrounding cloud tops. Infrared data has long indicated that the great red spot is colder and thus higher in altitude than most of the other clouds on the planet. The upper atmosphere above the storm, however, has substantially higher temperatures than the rest of the planet. Acoustic sound waves rising from the turbulence of the storm below have been proposed as an explanation for the heating of this region. Careful tracking of atmospheric features revealed the Great Red Spot's counterclockwise circulation as far back as 1966. Observations dramatically confirmed by the first time-lapse movies from the Voyager flybys. The spot is confined by a modest eastward jet stream to its south and a very strong westward one to its north. Though winds around the edge of the spot peak at about 432 km, currents inside it seem stagnant with little inflow or outflow. The rotation period of the spot has decreased with time, perhaps as a direct result of its steady reduction in size. The Great Red Spot's latitude has been stable for the duration of good observational records, typically varying by about a degree. Its longitude, however, is subject to constant variation, including a 90-day longitudinal oscillation with an amplitude of 1 degree. Because Jupiter does not rotate uniformly at all latitudes, astronomers have defined three different systems for defining the longitude. Its drift rate has changed dramatically over the years and has been linked to the brightness of the south equatorial belt and the presence of absence of a south tropical disturbance. Besides Hubble, the JWST has also captured new stunning images of Jupiter that will give scientists even more clues to the planet's inner life. With giant storms, powerful winds, auroras and extreme temperature and pressure conditions, Jupiter has a lot going on. The auroras shine in a filter that is mapped to redder colors, which also highlights light reflected from lower clouds and upper hazes, NASA said in a statement. A different filter mapped to yellows and greens shows hazes swirling around the northern and southern poles. A third filter mapped to blues showcases light that is reflected from a deeper main cloud. We hadn't expected it to be this good, to be honest. Remarkably, we can see details on Jupiter together with its rings, tiny satellites, and even galaxies in one image. Said planetary astronomer Imke de Pater, Professor Emerita of the University of California, Berkeley. NASA refers to Jupiter as the king of our solar system, and for good reason. 
The gas giant at the center of our solar system has a lot of secrets to uncover, which we'll learn as more studies are conducted. That's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed watching this one. Thanks for watching.